So um, just the good news is uh, we've just spent some time with Scott Kundal on the never ending networking platform. Uh, and we asked him for all of his speakers for our four day event. Um, and he's in. Um, so we've got a worldwide uh, platform that has just been launched today. Uh, and Scott is the driver of that. We've already connected uh, with the people that he's introduced us to um, in that particular network. And I've got no doubt we'll fill this thing out with speakers, promoters, with exhibitors. All we have to do is do what we are doing. Uh, every day, daily is drip feed what's exciting about it. So, um, and there I can see Jasper's trying to shoo his cuckoos. Um, and, uh, we've been we've been having this all morning. Uh, very exciting stuff uh, on the go. So uh, perhaps uh, uh, Ivan, if you'd like to just share the excitement on the uh, what we've picked up in the last hour with Scott. Sure, Trevor. I'll try. I'm not sure if you're picking up background noise, but I've got a neighbour mowing his lawn. So you. If it, is, if it is disturbing, then someone else might need to take over. But uh, yeah, no, I think, no, not, sorry? Not picking it up, yeah. Not picking up, okay, fantastic. Great, so yeah, amazing morning this, this morning. We started off, uh, as, as always, with our eight o'clock session with uh, Wisdom's Chats. Um, that's really building into some, something fantastic. So if you guys haven't come onto that yet, uh, see if you can make, make a couple of days a week. Uh, we're going to be doing it Monday to Friday as of uh, this week, in fact. So um we won't be doing it on the weekends anymore but uh, it'll still be a monday to friday event from eight o'clock onwards uh, so the day started off with that um we moved from from that uh, into uh, into the never-ending network session that trevor was just talking about now that's an international uh, networking uh, zoom networking operation that's going to be on 24 7. so you can pop in and out of that <clears throat> whenever you whenever the mood takes you um connect with who's ever online at that particular point in time. I mean, Scott Kundal is operating out of Bali. Uh, Mark is uh, co-hosting it with him. He's operating out of the UK. Uh, they're going to have guys on from the States, uh, people from South Africa, all over the world. So it's, it's, it's going to be a global, a global networking operation 24 seven that, uh, that people can, can get involved in. And uh, they were extremely excited to hear of the, uh, the background and experience that we've developed um, both with the chamber and with the wisdoms chat sessions they've come into it uh, today with their first session so uh, and then we also introduced the virtual trade fair to them which uh, which they were also very excited about so i think there's uh, you know the, the opportunity to to explode this thing globally is is right right in our hands at the moment and uh, we just need to make it happen um, i think it's as simple as that so um, uh, you know, really, uh, really excited about uh, about those opportunities and uh, and those connections that are developing. So, yeah, I, I think it's 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 up to us now to to ensure that this uh, little snowball we've started pushing uh, pushing up the hill here reaches the top pretty quickly and um, develops into a massive uh, thing that that is going to go screaming down the other side and then. Uh, explode its reach right across the entire globe and, and I think it has the potential to do that so I'm very excited about that whole situation yeah so that's uh, that's just the, the, the intro side for me uh, love to hear your thoughts on 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 that and then what's happened since yesterday I, I've also set up the virtual trade fair YouTube uh, channel um, uh, only managed to finalize that this morning because YouTube had some glitches yesterday that wouldn't let me verify the channel and uh, but that's up and running. Uh, the the session that we recorded yesterday is on that channel already. Um, the session will be going up uh, later today uh, onto the channel as well. We're looking to develop that uh, as an additional mechanism to get this message out. So uh, we're looking to go far far and wide as possible. Um, I've also set up a um, a click funnel which uh, which can be used to to invite people into these into these sessions. Um, and I'll I'll get that link through to you guys as well. Yes, Jeff. Yeah, if uh, what you'll do, please, Ivan, is put those links into the chat facility. Uh, and then if people put their contact links, we'll make certain that they get any updates that we, we're going to send out via ClickFunnels or via the various social media. We'll make certain all those links reach them. So uh, I see that uh, Dawn 
um, you seem to have invited a couple of people that are in. So let me just um, quickly give a brief intro of, of what uh, virtual trade fair is all about. Um, we and there are a number of members I see already are uh, business members and developers of the Four Ways Chamber, uh, otherwise known as the Four Ways Community Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we've been operating for three years in the Four Ways area regarded as the fastest growing business district in the whole of Africa, um, or it was until uh, about 30 odd days ago, and then it became equal with every other business district in the rest of the world. Um, but right now, uh, what we are demonstrating is just how quickly we operate as a chamber. Uh, I think we have some of the uh, finest thinkers and movers um, uh, in business uh, with experience at the chamber, and that's been demonstrated over the last uh, 30 odd days. Um, and in those 30 odd days, um, a group of us got together with the experience of people in the exhibition industry, uh, just to turn around and say, well, what can we come up with as a stopgap measure for what looked to be the, almost the total collapse of business? Um, and uh, in that, uh, within a time period of 21 days, uh, we came up with this uh, concept of virtual trade fair uh, Africa. And in simplicity, what it's about is um, a stopgap uh, measure. Uh, well, that's how we began it, but I think it's be beginning to grow even bigger. We've got people in the UK and now in Bali talking about us. I can guarantee you by the end of the week, we'll have people in the States all around the world starting to talk about this thing uh, because you can't stop this. Um, and so what it's about is we've, we've got two elements to it. Uh, a special event, a virtual trade fair, uh, begins Friday the 19th of June, ends uh, Monday the 22nd of June, um, a four-day special event just to give people urgency about getting back into the swing of business and starting to promote who and what you are, uh, whatever business, whether you're a small business, large business, major corporate, uh, exhibition organizer, you specialist designers, um, we've got uh, we've even got divorce mediators in here, but I mean, she'll probably smile because I'm saying that. Um, uh, whether you're a doctor, specialist, uh, you're a vet, whatever industry, um, uh, we've got engineers uh, coming on board, uh, people who are consultants in business. Um, so these are all the type of people that are excited about what we're actually doing. Uh, and quite simply, we went out there to identify uh, what people were investing in exhibitions, how they were actually getting themselves across. And we got to learn from the specialists that you could pay anything from 30,000 at a low end, all the way to millions at a high end to get a physical exhibition space. So we pitched this to make certain that our members could get involved. Um, and uh, we came up with a pricing factor of around 17 and a half thousand Rand. And then we said, no, listen, you know, we've got to give early bird specials to get people involved in this and the early bird special discount that we give for this is 10,000 Rand. So just to get involved uh, here right from up front in the four day special event, 19th to 22nd of June, um, uh, we're looking at seven and a half thousand Rand. Um, and then uh, the hot thing that came out of this as we we're talking about it is, well, look, this is virtual. Uh, all the design and all of those elements, you don't have to break these things down. What happens after the four-day event? Well, uh, why don't we just move everything that's virtual, the webinars, the speakers, all of that, why don't we keep it in a repository and move it into a 24-7, 365 event or otherwise known as a virtual mall? Um, so that we can have special events to, to create excitement and urgency and move people into a mall that operates 24-7, 365, without you having to do all the traditional stuff that you had, your websites and all this, you've got it all in one spot. Um, and so we came up with the basic uh, uh, product and project behind that, uh, and we created a special package of the virtual trade fair and uh, the virtual mall, uh, total market price of 31,000 Rand, but for people who come in on the day, uh, members of the, the public or uh, 
from now onwards, you get it, the total package at 13 and a half thousand. That funds our growth of our operation. It funds everything that we're actually doing. And it allows us to start reaching the type of people we were already reaching at day two in the talking of this around the world. So uh, we're excited about that. Ivan, uh, you must just tell me if I've touched on uh, a number of uh, elements. Uh, but because this is a 30-minute segment, I, I want to open it up to any questions or anyone who believes uh, they need to put a comment in so that other people who are new can actually grab what is important about the excitement of this uh, particular fair event that we are doing. Uh, thanks, Trevor. I think, I think you've encapsulated it for, for now. I, I think we, you know, just a couple of uh, points for, for folks who've just come onto this, uh, onto this session. If you're familiar with the Zoom, that's fantastic. If, you, if you're not, um, just a couple of points. If uh, you can pop up your chat box, um, it's one of the options at the bottom of your Zoom screen. Um, pop, in your, pop in your details there. Um, just tell us who you are and, and where you're from, just so we get a bit of an intro that way. Um, also, any other comments you'd like to make as, as somebody else is, is chatting, just go and pop into the chat box. Um, a very useful way of uh, adding value into the conversation. I'll put in there. Uh, the two links that Trevor asked me to put in there for now, which is the, uh, the, the new YouTube channel, which we've set up and uh, started to populate for the virtual trade fair. These sessions will be, be recorded and will go into, uh, into that YouTube channel so they can be reviewed on, on an ongoing basis. I've also just popped in a, another link where you can actually register um, and, and get onto our, our mailing list uh, specifically for this uh, event and, and, for, and for the virtual trade fair and the virtual mall. So if you'd like to just be kept in the loop, uh, we promise not to spam you. Um, and uh, it's, it's going to relate to, you know, only to the, the virtual trade fair and, and the virtual mall. Just uh, click on that uh, second link and, and just put your details there. That'll get you onto, onto, the, um, onto the mailing list. And I'd, I'd invite you to share that link with anybody that you'd like to invite um, onto, onto, this onto these particular weekday sessions uh, going forward. Uh, just share that link with them, it will not only get them on the list, it will also uh, give them the, uh, the Zoom uh, meeting ID to, to get onto the list as well. And um, that just helps us uh, coordinate the group and, and keep people uh, up to speed on what's happening. So yeah, that's just a little bit of admin from my side. And then I think let's just uh, whip around the group very quickly. I think uh, I'm going to go to, to the new folk, uh, you know, who weren't on the group with us yesterday, and then we can come back to the regulars uh, and, and find out what the thoughts are. So, um, yeah, um, Claudia, if you if you uh, if your mic is working and you can chat to us, we'd love to hear from you and uh, and um, maybe you've got a background and, and what you think um, of where we're heading with this. So, if you can unmute your mic and join the discussion, that'd be fantastic. Sorry, Ivan. Uh, Claudia did uh, text me. There's something wrong with her mic, so oh, she's okay. able to communicate. I see she did unmute, but we're not obviously hearing any sound. That's unfortunate. But uh, Claudia, if you, I, I do see that message now. Thank you. Um, perhaps if you can just uh, uh, do a little bit of typing while while somebody else is talking, and and uh, uh, we'll try and pick up any questions and uh, and um, thoughts that you and input that you have from the from the chat box as we go along. So, uh, Michelle, are you also new with us this morning? So. Welcome, and, and if you can perhaps uh, unmute your mic and, uh, and uh, just um, introduce yourself and uh, give us some thoughts. Yeah. Uh, just another note to folk, if, you, if you're struggling with your microphones, um, just by pressing your space bar on your keyboard, uh, if you're on a PC, uh, uh, that will unmute your mic as long as you're holding the, the space bar down. Otherwise, there is a little icon either on the participants um, uh, pop-out menu where you can unmute yourself and mute yourself or at the bottom of your Zoom screen on the, on the left-hand bottom corner, you can mute and unmute yourself. Uh, so Michelle, are you with us? Uh, can, can you unmute and, uh, and say hi? Or are you, are you also having a bit of a sound challenge this morning? Uh, seems like Michelle is also struggling a little bit with her sound. Uh, so, um, Michelle, if you do, if you do get on, uh, just uh, just to say hi, and uh, and then we'll come we'll come back to you. But uh, let's let's go across to Stella. So, Stella, uh, your thoughts.
Good afternoon, everybody. Um, no, uh, nothing much from my side now. I just wanted to confirm the deadline for the um, early bird application. Great, thanks, Stella. Yeah, the deadline is the fifth uh, of June, um, so two weeks before the show starts uh, is uh, um, 18, 1800 hours, so six o'clock, six p.m. on the Friday, the fifth of June. I think it is uh, is when the early bird special cuts off. Um, just one more thing. Um, for uh, what technical support is there? Is it included in the fees um, to actually, um, you know, do do the technicalities on, on the website? Um, so I just, you know, for people that that's uh, um, not so technically inclined, is is there support available? Is it an uh, additional cost or is it included in the fee? Stella, yeah, I think so. I think important question. I, th I think there are, there, are, there are certain basics uh, that, that are provided as part of the, as part of the service. Um, you know, those uh, details will, will be provided um, and will be available uh, online. There will also be online help facilities and, and video instruction and, and those sorts of things which are, which are in, the, in the works at the moment. Um, but there are also um, additional products and services which uh, can, can be purchased if you, if you require those kind of levels of assistance as well. So people like, uh, like Alex and, um, um, Alex and uh, um, Gavin and uh, myself to, to a certain extent will be um, on hand um, to, to offer additional products and services, but that will be for, for, for a fee. Yeah. So, uh, you know, one uh, can get, uh, Get all of those details as as we roll out, and if you're specifically interested in certain things, um, perhaps just drop us uh, a mail, and uh, and we can uh, also um, you know give you more detail in that forum. But so both, I think, is the answer to your question. So there's a certain basic level of setup that is that is provided as part of the service, but there are additional services. Right. So I see. Um, We've got, okay, Jasper seems to have disappeared, so I'm not too sure where he went off to. Uh, so, um, Pierre, you've just come on board. I'm not sure how much you've heard of the discussion thus far, uh, but um, perhaps just uh, unmute and just let us know, uh, you know, the group, um, who you are and what your interest in the virtual trade fair is. Um, good morning, everyone. I just want to find out in connection with a... Um, to promote, to be, for, you know, for a promoter, I've, 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 um, go, I've gone in, I've done the, um, the application, but I haven't received the code yet or whatever, just so we can, you know, when I send it out to, you know, the different people and the platforms that I'm, you know, so the Sorry, Pierre, you were a bit of uh, interference there again folks just uh, if you are on, on for, for the first time please mute your mic uh, if you're not busy talking it does help uh, eliminate background noises so Pierre I um, understood that you've registered um, for the uh, for the promotion uh, side of the event um, when did you do that I did that on Saturday Saturday or yeah, Saturday I think yeah Saturday okay fantastic I'll, I'll definitely pick up on that and and uh, and get back to you um, the process is, is fairly simple and straightforward. So if you are interested in becoming a promoter, um, yeah, there's, there's a mechanism to, to facilitate that as Pierre has indicated. Um, and again, uh, you know, just let us know if you, if you want to do that and, um, and we'll engage with you, but uh, there are links that we can post for that as well. So um, thanks for that Pierre and, and definitely get back to you on that one. And uh, Ivan, if I can, uh, type of feedback very important for us um, because we know that all of this uh, stuff has been stress tested, but we need a little bit more stress testing as well, just to pick up in case uh, something is falling through the cracks. So that's a very important feedback to us. As we're building up this momentum, we want to get any glitches out of the system before the bulk of people start coming in here. And they're going to start rolling in in the next 10 days. Uh, we're going to be swamped by individuals here. So very important, uh, Pierre, that this is followed through and we understand why it hasn't um, got to our attention there by the sounds of things. Uh, have, you, have you got an inkling of an idea, um, Ivan? 
Um, my, my guess is that it's gone into uh, the, you know, the, the backend system, which Gavin's managing. So I just need to pick up with Gavin, uh, you know, where it goes from there. So um, it, it's, uh, it's probably just a delay in, in passing through of the information, but uh, um, we need to streamline that obviously and make it more seamless. So yeah, thanks Pierre for bringing that up. Uh, um, I see Claudio has, has asked a question here. Um, the exhibition booth that you receive in the package, does everyone look the same and how exactly does this work? Um, Alex, maybe you'd like to comment on that. Well, the, there are two different uh, standard designs that people get to choose from. And there is a, a few small customizations that can be put onto the standard designs. Um, your logo will go on. Um, and we'll change, uh, I think there are two, two areas for graphics to go on. Um, so those are the two standard ones. After that, if someone wants to have a more customized design, we've got about another three or four designs worth uh, three or four variants that people can choose from. Those are standard sort of uh, packages that we, we offer um, that people have to pay for if they don't want the one that comes with the, the actual package itself. If they want a complete custom 3D designed stand, I'm more than capable of helping people out with that as well. And that is a, a, a also going to be an additional fee than if they want that. So it's, it's up to the exhibits or what they want at the end of the day. Great. Right, thanks, Alex. I think maybe just to add on to that, uh, you know, exhibitors yeah. do have their own technical capabilities in-house or, or resources that they want to use. They would just need to connect with... Uh, Alex or, or myself to get uh, specific design specifications um, and uh, make sure that they meet the, the, the minimum requirements for, for the sites and so on. But uh, you can also do those sort of things uh, in-house or, or using your own your own resources as long as you meet those specific requirements. So, so yes, Dawn. Uh, that's what I wanted to just mention, Ivan, that because I know Claudia is a designer, so she's probably thinking that she could probably do it herself. And you just mentioned there is a criteria they need to meet. It's perfect. Yeah, hundred percent, and and Claudia, absolutely. Uh, you know, if, if you want to, um, you know, get onto uh, onto the system as a as a potential service provider, absolute opportunity for you to do that and 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 start offering those kinds of products and services uh, as well. So, yeah, chat to chat to Dawn and Alex about that, and um, and and you know, we can definitely, uh, you know, we are really hoping. <laughs> And believing that we're going to be inundated with uh, with applications, and so we're going to need all the technical resources and skills that we can uh, we can avail ourselves of to make this thing a success. And it's an opportunity for for people uh, in that space also to make uh, make some some good revenue out of it. So absolute opportunity for you there. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's just uh, pop across to Masopa and just say uh, welcome, uh, Masopa. Your first time with us on on this side. Um, so welcome, and uh, yeah, uh, any thoughts that, or questions that you might have around the virtual trade fair, we'd, we'd like to hear. Uh, I think I'm gonna contact Alex, yeah, for my questions. I think they're specifically to him. Okay, 100%, no, that's, uh, that's perfect. So again, as I say, folks, if you can just uh, pop, your, pop your contact details, email addresses into the chat box, uh, then uh, people can pick up those details from there. Um, and uh, you know, if anybody's, uh, getting stuck in, in, in uh, finding the right details person to contact, they can get hold of myself or uh, Dawn or Alex or Irene um, and, and we can definitely distribute, uh, distribute that information around. So um, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, so yes, but let's, uh, let's come across to you. I don't have nothing to contribute. I just uh, invited Pierre onto the platform uh, from our gig group. He asked to how to get involved as a promoter. So uh, uh, I saw that you did handle, handle that question. So afterwards we can just have a chat as to how that uh, process will work. Uh, so we can also start promoting it through our gig channels. Fantastic, thanks Jasper. And we can talk about that in more detail. Michelle, I did see that you had your, mu your, your mic unmuted temporarily there. Did you want to add something in? Uh, yes, Shane, thank you, Ivan. Um, I managed to get it off mute. Um, sorry, I did obviously join this rather late. Um, so thank you to Irene for sending me the link to join. Um, I see that this is something that you guys are going to do on a daily basis. So I'll obviously tune in every day um, as I have more questions, um, et cetera. One of the questions I did miss, unfortunately, was just when is the actual event? I know you mentioned it's four days. 
Um, if you could just confirm the exact date. Absolutely. So it's from the 19th uh, of, Ju of June till the 22nd of June um, is, is the actual uh, dates of the, of the fair. Um, and then what we also mentioned, which perhaps uh, you didn't pick up, is there's also an opportunity to extend that presence um, into what we're calling our virtual uh, mall, which is going to be a 24-7, 365 operation backing up the trade fair um, post, post the event itself. So um, th those are the two, the two opportunities there. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. And then I see that you've got the early bird special, um, which I see from the chat is um, expiring on the 5th of June. Can you just um, confirm the two rates? Obviously, there's the rate post the early bird. Um, if you could just give me those two figures. Absolutely. So, so there's two packages. Um, uh, the, the, the first package, um, the non-early bird pricing is, is 17,500 rand. So after the 5th uh, after the fifth, that, that price reverts to the full the full package, which was seventeen and a half. Early bird special is seven and a half, so it's a ten thousand rand early bird discount on that. That's for the trade fair itself specifically, and that also gets you into uh, the Foy's community chamber, who is the um, initiator of, of this event. So it gets you a membership into the into the chamber. The um, yeah, the second package uh, full price is thirty one thirty one thousand. Uh, that's that's after early bird. Um, the early bird price uh, for that is thirteen and a half thousand. Trevor, is that correct? I lost Trevor there for a moment. Uh, if my memory serves me correctly, Jasper says that's correct. So thirteen and a half, so massive saving on that. What you get um, for for that is you get the four day event. You plus you get the uh, the virtual mall for uh, for a full calendar year, and you get a premium membership into into the chamber, um, which is a ten thousand rand uh, membership uh, per annum benefit as well. So, you know, there's, there's fantastic value and benefit in, uh, in, in those packages. Um, so I hope that, uh, that answers those questions, Michelle. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Super. Thank you. Um, Desiree, uh, you've, uh, you were with us yesterday, but I saw you came on a little bit late this morning. Um, so maybe you want to add any thoughts or questions in? Hi, Ivan. Can you hear me? Yep. We got you. Okay, sorry. I had a power cut, so I disappeared for like 15 minutes. I actually am not sure what's going on at the moment. Okay. All right. Well, no, no, no problem. Uh, we are we are heading towards uh, towards the bottom of the hour. Uh, two minutes, two minutes left, and we do want to try and keep these things compact. Um, okay. And uh, and and because we are going to be doing it on a daily basis. So if you haven't picked up what you needed to pick up today, please come back tomorrow or the following day. Or go to YouTube um, and and review, and as I say those those links are in the in the chat box. Um, yes, Jasper, you wanted to just uh, wrap up with something there. No, I think uh, just uh, uh, as an interesting input uh, on that question of uh, the that people get thrown in the the chamber membership as well. Uh, I just came off a, a session with Stella early this morning, so uh, Stella is a brand new member. So why don't we just ask Stella's experience? on the membership value that she's uh, uh, experiencing so far. And uh, then we can wrap up on that. Wow, yes, um, Jasper, um, uh, I was really amazed, um, everyone, because um, Jasper just showed me this morning, haven't been able to go and, and look at everything, but I was just in awe to see everything that's available from training to um, um, uh, what do you call it? The the bank, the c community bank, um, w uh, which uh, offers um, very valuable um, uh, cost saving um, initiatives um, that you can get involved with. Um, you yeah, know, there is so much. I, I can't. I was so overwhelmed because it was so so much at once. So maybe Jasper, you can just, but um, it's really uh, value for money. I'm so grateful that um, I've joined the, uh, the FCCC. Um, I'm just sorry that I haven't started communicating with you guys earlier because I've been a member since January. And um, yeah, so that's my only regret. But um, yes, looking forward for, for great um, business opportunities and to grow personally. In, uh, um, as an individual as well with uh, all the chats and everything that we have. So great work, guys. Thanks.
Fantastic. Thanks, Stel. And just for, for those who, who aren't familiar with what, what we're talking about, the 4S Community Chamber of Commerce um, is, the, uh, is the entity that has birthed the Virtual Trade Fair dot Africa. So it's one of our initiatives. Um, it's something we do at the Chamber. So uh, Chamber's been running for just over three years. So if you don't know about us, I'd encourage you to, to get online and look us up. Uh, 4S Community Chamber dot co dot za is, is our website or f triple c dot co dot za. Um, and, uh, and and engage with us. So you know we we are on online every uh, every Friday between nine thirty and eleven um, on Zoom sessions like this. Networking. Um, we have multiple other other events and sessions uh, that uh, we offer to members and and people who participate. So we'd love to see you all on board there. So yeah, uh, Trevor, I think a final word from you, perhaps, and then we can wrap up today's session. Yeah, I think that's excellent. Um, we'll keep everything to 30 minutes and we'll be on here between 12 and 12.30. So anyone you want to invite, uh, as the questions get a little bit more detailed, uh, we will be able to uh, grow the frequently answered or asked questions in our database. So please just add into it, uh, make certain that uh, you give us the feedback that Pia gave us and we can grow this thing to the benefit of us all here. So very excited with what everyone is doing on this little network. Thank you very much. Great, fantastic. Thanks everyone, have a great day further and uh, see you tomorrow. Cheers and bye.